Hello, welcome back. Jonathan Gardner, let's play Factorio Season 4, Episode 40, 34, 34. This episode, we are going to get the iron processed. So, I'm not going to tweak the coal or anything. I'm just going to start processing the iron. Which means I am going to need some things. I don't need these guys. I need to turn the volume down on my... Here. I'm gonna, I, I, anyway, the volume is so messy. It's just... No, keep that at 50. Turn Factorio down to here. So it's closer to what you guys hear. All right, and that's ah, much closer. Okay, now it's not so loud. I just, I have continual problems trying to get the volume right in my videos. Um, I think I had it turned up too loud for the last 10 or so, and I turned it down now to 85 from 95. So we'll see what happens. Okay, what are they We're waiting for concrete, aren't they? Well, those are in the network, aren't they? They are not in the network. Let's add them to the network. Congratulations. I should see a bunch of robots coming down here to pick up the steel to lay it down. Or maybe they're coming up. The uh, concrete, I mean. Yeah, here they come. Okay, um, I need to get the steel being processed, which requires a lot of things. I'm going to lay out the tracks at first, and then I'm going to fill it in with the stuff that I need. So let's get the track train. Let's get this guy going. All right. I figure once the uh, the solar panels and accumulators are caught up, that I will stop draining the copper and the iron so quickly. But we shall see. All right. Let's go around this way and this way. Where to build the iron processing? I would like to build it down here, close to where the iron ore is. Let's do that. Let's just build it right here. All right. Let's clear this out. Let's use this. Perfect. Interesting. All right. So this is my groundbreaking new design that I'm just so excited to show you guys. Um, please don't laugh. <laughs> so basically, this, this route, the way it's going to work is you have the trains coming down. Like this. Let's just lay it down. Let's use this little dude. And you're going to have a 282 unload coal and unload. Um, let's get some of these guys. Let's get a lot of these guys actually. Um, he's going to unload coal. I uh, 181, I'm sorry. Unload coal, unload iron ore, and transfer it in much the same way that you've already seen. So there won't be any surprises here. The, there will be a difference because there will no longer be any tracks that are crossing. This is only possible with one direction trains, with bi-directional trains, I mean. So eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine, that's not eight. All right. Let's put this train here and I think this will work out fine. Iron. Unload, this will be load. This will be loading the iron ore. So it's going to come in here, and there's going to be two things unloading, and two chests. I have a little bit of a wheeziness. I need to 
stop eating so much sugar and starch and stuff and get back on my low carb diet because when I eat too much sugar I get asthma okay so this guy This is um, ZZ Iron Plate Zero One Unload. See that? Now, this next guy, I'm not going to have it. You come in and then you go out. We're not going to cross tracks anymore. So there's a limit to where I can build the next one. It may based solely on geometry. You see. And there's an important reason why I'm doing it this way. Okay. So iron plate zero one, unload iron ore. And the same kind of deal. Red box red, red box red, and now we can do tracks. This is part of the design. And then once again, we're going to have like that. I forgot to put a stop over there. I'm going to run out of stops, aren't I? Unload the coal here. And red box red track. That's pretty cool. OK, so these guys are perfectly aligned in this way so that we don't have to cross any tracks. Okay, and here we can put a loop in, maybe. I don't know if there's going to be room for it or not. Let's see if there's room for a loop here. Okay. I should have put that down first. Let's try this again. Let's get rid of this and get rid of this. There, no crossing. We're going to have the same kind of thing over here. Except. This one is just going to go straight across. Okay, and then we're going to have, am I even going to have room? I am not going to have room. Nope, 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 no room at all. Let's bottle this up. I don't know what to do now. So you need to have this much over here. Maybe what I can do is, is kind of shift it down and have this guy go over here so that he doesn't, you know, I just have to tear it down. That's what I have to do. I need more room. That's all it is, plain and simple. Oh shoot, do I have a regular robot inside of me? I have two construction robots. Get away from me. I don't want you. Okay, so maybe over here. Let me do this little thing of a bob. Yeah, we have to 
basically cut out all this I don't know how far this is probably far enough huh. I don't want this I don't want that and this has to go down here as well Am I going to fill up here? I think I am. Maybe not. What I'll do is I'll just tear out this one bit here. There they go. Let's see if the straight bit can fit. No, it can't. I have to manually stitch this together. See if I can keep the pattern going here. All right, so I stitched that together okay. This should be enough room. I'm gonna have to cut this dude out. All of this wood. Oh, no, 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 give me that iron plate back. It's my backup, just in case I need to build something. All right, my just kicked in. Okay, let's pull out the design I just made. Okay, so, okay, what's so different about this design? Well, the difference is that, I don't know if you can tell, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, so let's, let's just do a quick copy of this length here. I don't know if I want this length, just like that. Okay. There we go. This guy is going to unload, and I forget exactly. Let's let's measure it out for what would happen if we had a factory. So that it's reusable. If you had a factory be like this, we might have some pipes on one side, and we'd have the unloader that would go to a box, and then we would have maybe a green unloader, depending on the tracks would go here. Yep. Okay. So that should fit. And then if I wanted to put a furnace, do I have a steel furnace? 
Can I make a stone furnace? Anyway. Um, that's too far apart, actually. Let's do this, and then let's do this. No, wait, that should work. That should work. He unloads to here. He picks up, so we put it right there. But I think, can we make things a little bit more compact? Let's just try it out. We need room for the pipe. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to do that. So we go like that, and we go like that. Then we go like that. Yeah, this will work. We put the box down here, and then we have the balloon loader here. That is the measurement we need. Okay. And so we set up. Now here, I believe the cross the tracks do have to cross because. Yeah, see, he wants to come in. Yeah, it's going to be crazy here. The tracks will cross, but not in a bad way, I think. So. I'm going to compact this up. I'm going to have the tracks cross when they come or go. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be kind of messy, but it'll be okay. Um, so this is that. Put that. And then the next one comes in here. Three, four, five. Six. How many can I have? Okay, so they're going to spend 200 seconds loading and unloading. And they are going to spend like 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds total loading materials. Um, that sounds about right. Maybe 20 seconds total, plus travel time. Okay. I don't know what the right number is, but I'm going to guess it is going to be ten. Ten of these. Yeah. So we're going to have ten of them. So what is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think we can fit some over here if we compact these guys up. So let's compact these guys up some. Get rid of that. We're just going to have a mess. It'll work. It'll be beautiful. Okay, let's make a pattern of that. What can I get rid of? That, nope, that, yes. That's three. That's all the loading and unloading we need. Um, coal. How are we going to give coal to the machines? Well, we're going to have... Coming down like this. And here we just have... See that? So this one will be inserting, and this one will be inserting. So that's how that'll work. Coming down both sides, you're going to have to have a coal supply train coming in the top, but it will be a small one. Where is he going to go? He has to basically be higher than everybody else, and he has to be able to get back on the track. So this has to be the coal supply. And so we're not going to be picking up from here at all. So 
so we will not be picking up stuff here at all. You just shift all this down then. So we need another one of those like that. So iron plate zero one unload coal for supply. Okay, so he's going to come in here. He's going to unload somewhere on this track, and the belts are going to carry it down here, down here, over here, down, and down to reload everything. Okay, so in all reality, the top starts up here, unless I want to scoot everything up to make it parallel with that, which I can. Let's do that. Let's scoot everything up. which I can. Okay, so this is the one that has the building. So make it even with that. Maybe we can go higher, but I, I don't really want to go much higher than that. Let's just kind of set it out here for measurement purposes. Okay, let's build our little curvy bit so it lines up at the top here. Okay, that guy has to go like that. Let's delete this again. Blam, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven for good luck. And then let's get rid of this one. I uh, probably would have a hard time getting him hooked up anyway. Let's go get some more straight tracks. Where did my train go? It's all the way over here, isn't it? All right. What are we missing now? Stops. I don't have any stops. Can I make some stops? I can make 10. I need more than 10. What? Where'd the stop go? Okay. We'll get it figured out later. Okay, let's connect everything up now. That can't do it either. I think that'll work. Could be wrong. Let's find out. That is wrong. It will not work. So either I go up past here and start looping around here. No. Or I just move everything out to the right one.
See, this guy doesn't hook up either. Let's try. Let's try this again. Okay. So. Curvy. Okay, this one's too. So I have this line that I can't really go past. Right here. That's the limit. Everything must appear below that line. Must be able to connect there. Perfect. Okay, so let's tear all this down then. You all have to go, sorry. Oh, missed it. Okay, let's do that again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now these guys don't line up anymore. Eight. Let's get rid of this rock. Nine, ten. Now, if I put this guy here, he'll have a hard time getting to pick up the next resources. No, he won't. Eleven. Because um, if the top is the iron plates. Okay, I'm retarded. I'm retarded because I hooked it up here. I should not have hooked it up there. I should have hooked it up here. I'll get it right eventually. Eventually. Okay, so this all has to shift down that way. One more time. These are probably going to get in the way. And it's this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these guys all have to go now. Let's do these. Where did it go? Here it is. One, two, three, and four for good luck. Okay. There. Now I'm missing curves. Let's go get some curves. Yeah. 
There we go. So I had grand ideas of having trains like kind of waiting in this area, but now I just, I don't think I'm gonna allow that. Only one train is allowed out at a time, wandering around. Which I may have miscalculated. 10 might be too many. If it's too many, well, we can reduce it. It'll be easy. All right, last little bit. Let's put the end cap on. Okay, there we go. And let's start signaling things. That's the wrong side. That's the right side. I'm going to go up. Okay, and every one of these needs a particular signal as well. So when you're coming in, when you're going out, when you're coming in, just like that. Let's go and make a copy of that. Let's get rid of this thing for now. Oh, no, 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 right here. Let's just kind of eliminate this entire area. On this one. All right, let's fix everything up. All right, 30 minutes in. Change these to and of course they're going to do that to me. I'll just try it out anyway. That one works. That guy doesn't. Now he does. I can do that over here. I need more of those little signals. I don't think I have chain signals out here. Can't make them because I don't have iron plate anymore. Let's run back to the base and get some. Oh, this guy's out of coal because I'm not delivering coal. Let's tell the coal train to start delivering coal and, and I'll figure it out later. And I need a lot of chain signals. Chain signals. I hope I don't die. I'm not even paying attention to the road. 200 should be now. I assume the coal is down this way. I could be wrong. Better not walk on the tracks. This is coal. Yeah, it looks like the coal is all full now. All full. Okay, we are just all full of coal. Okay, so there is a coal train that resupplies the coal. I'm going to have him go visit everybody.
All right, Coal Depot zero 01 unload. Iron Ore Depot zero 01 unload coal for 10 seconds. Stone Depot zero 01 unload coal for 10 seconds. Where is copper? Did I not name copper? There it is, copper ore depot zero 01 unload coal. And it probably could be more effective, but to be truth, this is it probably won't be the bottleneck. So he could take as much time as he wants wandering around, making a nuisance of himself. And I have to lay down that new design on each of the depots so that the coal is actually distributed to both sides of the train, rather than just one. Um, see what my map looks like again. This is copper, stone, oil. I didn't tell it to do oil. This is why this mod is awesome. So he is going right now to Stone Depot 01 on the local What's his speed? 175, huh? This is a long trip for a train. Here he comes. Yeah, I need to put that blueprint down. As you can see, he's only doing one side. Now, where are you going, buddy? You're going to a copper ore depot, zero 01 unload coal, which I think is out here on the right. Which, Wow, that was actually the right order to do things in. He's going to the oil depot, which I think is on the other side here. So he should do oil and then stone and then copper. Let's change that up. Oil, stone, and then copper. Where is he going? needs to get more coal. So that train was in his way, so he took the longer way about. Where's he going now? Why are you going back to copper? Go to coal. Anyway. All right, where am I at? I'm over here. Let's go pay attention to the coal. It's just, it's all stopped. This coal is all full. So there's no power being used here except for just sitting around doing nothing. 
We need to tell that Coltrane. Let's make a Coltrane. Let's have him start coming here to unload. Okay, let's tell this one. This guy. Iron ore depot zero one unload coal for iron plate one unload coal for supply. And this will be another forty five minute episode, I guess. So here he comes. I think it's the next right turn here. Yeah, I want to make these tracks wider in the middle. I just don't like the way they bounce around so much. There we go. This will be the coal supply. So you go ahead on your merry way. Go. Yep. Actually, this doesn't need to be a chain signal, does it? Not in this case, because it's not crossing anything. Probably maybe do this as well. No, it's not necessary. Okay, I need to get more chain signals. Uh, do I really want to wire these guys all up? I'm not going to wire these guys all up. No, that's just that's just a waste of resources. Mm, waste of resources. Just don't go in there unless you can get out. That's the key. Maybe I'll have the ones that are halfway. All right, let's set up a train. Let's set up a train. Just to watch how it runs. Wood for it. Wait, I think I have wood stored up here. Where did I put the wood? Where's my tree? Where would I put that wood? Over here somewhere? Ah, oh, there it is, yes. All right, so this is going to be Ooh, this is not right. will be where they come to unload the coal and where they load the coal. Okay. And there's supposed to be one right here as well.
that'll where they pick up the iron plate. Let me take a look at the map here. This is not ZZ, it's not supposed to be ZZ. That's where the iron ore goes to. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go to unload. And then you're going to go to unload zero one. No path, come on. What is that? That's not even connected to the tracks. I sh you know what I can't do it this way unless I rename this one to that one because when he comes off see he needs to be able to turn directly just like that if it's this one he has to go around another circle and that's bad Okay, so this is actually load. And this is iron plates here. Okay. Unload iron ore. Do I want these to be regular signals or chain signals? I don't want them to block. So this has to be a chain signal. Okay, so that's the train that does the. I only have four cars. This guy will unload into furnaces, a bunch of steel furnaces, which will process the iron, the iron plate, which will go into chests, which the loader will pick up, and then he will go through and unload. And the loaders are going to wait. There's going to be one loader for each, one loader for all of them. Maybe. So the loader is going to be carefully coordinated so that he can, you see, he can come down here, and then he'll come up here. So he's going to, he's going to skip one, skip one, skip one, and then go over here. This one, and this one, and this one. And the next time around, he's going to do this one, and then this one and this one, and then this one, then this one, and load. How many stations are there? I should have an even number, I guess. So I guess I can reprogram this one to do that. Um, 15 minutes is almost an hour. That's OK. Let's, let's reprogram this guy to do that. Here. OK, so he is going to start at unload and then uh, let's give out these guys names let's copy
I'm naming all these stations here. Get rid of this one. Zero five. Zero six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zero seven. Zero eight. Zero nine. Need two more. Two more stations. I'm gonna steal this one over here. And this one. Ten. Eleven. So Unload. There we go. Let's change all these guys to be kind of quick. I think this will work. He, he's probably going to spend too much time on the track and interrupt everybody else's schedule, but we'll see. Yeah. He just spends just a moment on the track. Once he gets going, everything should turn red. Yeah, if it all turns red on this side, the other side just stays blue. But what if I had chain signals like this? Hmm. Maybe that will work. That will help the segment off a little bit. What's going on? Let's try to get over here. Yeah, 
this might make it even a little bit more elegant. So I think I think this will make it so that while this guy's operating, I won't interrupt the other guy's schedules. Okay, I think I have a good design here. I think this will actually work. Um, I don't need to space things out. Um, Crisscrossing is okay with chain signals. And I think we have a wise design here. Maybe we want to eliminate this guy. Just have an even number, just 10. And then that way we can bring another station down here if we need to. No, 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 because the loader trained out to get all three. Anyway, there's lots of options. We figure out when we have three ingredients, but right now we only have two ingredients, coal and iron ore. So this is what it's going to look like. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye-bye.